What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the day's video. I've been down here at the store all day getting these orders pumped out for you guys. And now I'm getting ready to go home to little mama. And the way I understand it, she keeps calling and texting and calling and texting and texting and calling and blowing me up. Hey, Billy, I'm hungry. Just like I promised, we about to get into some cooking videos. So I put up a post on Facebook asking y'all, what would you like to see me throw down in the kitchen? Roast, so I'm coming to eat. We ain't having roast. We're having a Christmas roast, so. Oh, is that what we're having? We're having a Christmas roast, so don't worry about that. We'll cook it in our uh, Christmas present. That is, the, the ball done been dropped on what it is. We're getting one of the ninja foodies. So we'll make it in that. How's that make you feel? I put up a post on Facebook. All y'all said you wanted to see the hillbilly throw down on some lasagna. I don't buy the jug sauce. I do. Yeah, she's lazy. I make my own from scratch sauce. So I'm going to show y'all how I cook my lasagna. You may not do it that way. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't put sausage in it. Only thing I think sausage is good on is a biscuit and in my gravy. Not on my pizza, pasta, or any of that. I just, I don't like sausage on none of that. We're going to head over to the grocery store. The unsaid grocery store, because they don't like me filming in there. And I always have someone following me around, making sure I ain't filming. So, I'm going to do it with my phone, because it's least conspicuous. Me walking around with this big camera and tripod going, Let's head over to the grocery store and see what kind of grub I can pick up for tonight lasagna and like i said no sausage in it y'all little mama literally just hit me with a panic list does anybody know what a panic list is <laughs> yeah it was 60 degrees this morning now here it is this evening and it's snowing cats and dogs it is snowing snowflakes it's beginning to look a lot like i don't like this i don't like snow on the ground yeah i don't know Hey, get them groceries put up. I got lasagna to make. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. So it just literally dawned on me. I forgot to film getting hamburger meat. But, I mean, most y'all know hamburger meat goes with lasagna. So, yeah, I got hamburger meat. That's a big old pan. We're talking making a big old lasagna. You need a big old pan for a big old... I forgot onions. Keep sleeping. I literally cannot believe this. Snow, dude, snow. <laughs> I can't believe it. And we want to thank our girl Kelly for the awesome salt lamp. And wow, that autofocus done something crazy. Kelly, thank you so much for the salt lamp. That thing is amazing. All right, first thing first. You let everything get real bright and I'm high. You gotta fry your hamburger meat. You take that hamburger meat and you add it to the skillet. Now while your meat's browning, you wanna get your water on so you can start boiling them lasagna noodles. You know what I mean, Vern? Now that you got your water on the bowl, you take your box of barley, uh, whatever this is, and get your old noodles on. I hope y'all know how to make noodles. Ow. Our saucepan is super tiny. So I gotta take the meat out of the skillet into a bowl so I can get the sauce started simmering up. And little mama wants to kill me because she's cleaned house all day and I'm in here making a mess. All right, now that you got that done, you got your grease drained, you wanna get all your cans 
of sauce opened up, cans of tomato paste in your chunks, your deep dive tomatoes. I need you down here. Now you want to bring all this tomato sauce paste and seasonings to a simmer. Trust me, when you master your own homemade sauce, you'll be glad and your family will thank you. Trust me. Just play around with the spices you like, but you do need Italian seasoning to bring out that Italian flavor of the sauce. But, you know, play around with how much salt you want to use, how much pepper. Like, eventually you'll get it in sugar just a tad bit of sugar actually bring out that whole flavor and kind of cut down on the heartburn you get a little bit once these noodles are done i'm going to transfer all this into the pot add the meat in get it stirred everything to simmer together and that flavor to come out and then we're going to throw this thing together and throw it in the oven all right i got the transfer from the saucepan to the kettle complete and now you just break in your hamburger meat Blend it all together. Now let this simmer for about 20 minutes or so. Let them salt, them flavors all meld together. The longer you let it simmer though, the more them flavors are gonna come out and work together. Now that you got all that done, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. And while your oven's preheating, you take your noodles down here. Layer noodles. layer of sauce, cottage cheese, or you can use ricotta. It's whatever your personal preference is. And you take your cheese, and you wanna do a little thin layer. You don't have to, I like to just for the, the cheesiness of it all. A little thin layer. And then you go right back to your noodles. thing off with cheese and when you got it looking like that right there throw it in the oven on bake like I said for 350 until that top is golden brown and looking delicious yeah. hey what? we got lasagna here is the reveal and I have did we ever find our little thingies that you get things out of the oven with? Bits? Yeah. Probably not. Well, I need something so I don't burn myself up. This thing weighs about 455 pounds. Yeah! Woo! That's a little juicier than usual, but man. Mmm. Oh, that's way juicier than normal. What's the matter? You didn't do it right. I needed one more can of mater paste. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. Too thick, too thin, don't matter. Guarantee it's gonna taste good. Hey, Miss Taste Tester, you're needed down here. Hey. Hey, Bubba. You're gonna love this. What you been doing? You missed your daddy. You missed your daddy day. Uh-oh, Taste Tester's in here. Do you see this? That means that's way too hot to taste test. It's right? called blow it. A head's called that don't work. Come on, try a little taste. Sean. It's on blazing fire. <laughs> blazing fire. I mean, Are you and your mechanisms. All right, Miss Taste Tester. If this burns, my, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Do your little dance. Do your little dance. How's it's it? It's really good, <laughs> but it's really hot. I can't hardly taste it. It's so hot. Whew. Actually, I just wanna take a minute to cool down. Look, been sitting here for like 10 minutes and it's still, it's really good. It really is. Well, there y'all have it. There's the Hillbillies homemade lasagna. You want to try it, like I said, add a little more extra paste and maybe a little less sauce. 
normally it don't turn out that watery but it's been literally like five or six years since i have made it and i usually do one and one and i i totally forgot about that because i made a big one because it is snowing i wanted to have something i quit making it it's good it's just a little soupy and it's a thickening agent that's what i said another can of tomato paste you know if you're you're like me crush you some crackers up in it yeah just add some crackers to it, it works fine all right guys we are going to get off here we are going to eat dinner and let you get back to your family i hope y'all have a wonderful evening we're hopefully crossing fingers not going to get snowed in in the morning and there that but guys until the next time as always stay positive even when you lasagna turns out runny just add some crackers to it stay country and stay true to them roots and we'll see y'all on the mountainside <laughs>